poppin' YouTube. It's your boy, Jamal Virgo. I am back with another video. I know it's been a minute. If you follow me on social media, I've been interjecting here and there, different videos, different things I've been working on, little creative endeavors that I've been diving into. But I really have been excited, looking forward to making this video because I think it's something that hopefully will be a part of my creative um, bag. You know, maybe even potentially some business ventures. If you guys are interested, I'll talk about that at the end. We'll see how long this video goes. My daughter's also awake watching TV in the other room, so we'll see how long she stays occupied. Getting straight to it, man, y'all know what I say. Try to keep it as cut and short and sweet to the point as I can. This video today is gonna be on how to dye your shoe, your sneakers, baby. Now, for all the shoes that we talking about today, it's gonna be all Adidas stuff. But the cool thing is, I got one style that's gonna be Adidas, basically like their sports style. So sorry for playing. A pair of running style shoes. And then I also have some Adidas kind of casual classics. So I'm saying, so y'all can see how the different materials between like a leather or like a mesh upper might look if you did go ahead and dye that, you know, material, depending on how dark you want to dye it or whatever it might be. And then I'm also gonna literally do a walkthrough of me dyeing my shoe. So you guys will see it on the left here, but I will be looking at it. So literally, we'll walk through it together. I'll tell you guys every step that I'm going through. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. If you guys need any help, you can, you know, comment below. Hopefully, you know, if you need to pause and stop during the video, like I said, y'all see it here, you can pause and stop. Anyway, to get straight into it, man. So the dying process, right? Something that I feel like on social media, seeing a, you know, couple different people trying it out, a lot of Air Forces. I haven't seen a ton of Adidas, maybe one or two there. <clears throat> so I think it's pretty cool that I'm trying this. This is the first pair that I've seen like these. Um, that came out the way that it came out for me. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little trendsetter with that. The dye process for me was something I was really nervous with. Obviously, shoes are not cheap. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you get them or where you get them from, messing up a pair of shoes can really break your bank because it's hard to then sell a shoe after you pretty much have quote unquote damaged it if it doesn't come out the way you want it to. So I was really nervous. First pair that I did came out super, eh. I don't even want to show you guys. I'll, I'll maybe put it, I'll put a picture up just so you guys can see it. The form that I did was my tester model. I got them for free. So I was like, let me just try it out with this one color. So I'd say that the pairs that I will show you that I did the how-to video on, if you follow my Instagram or my TikTok, you probably saw it, the Samba. That would have been my fourth four die video, or fourth four die, literally, period. So I kind of have a better understanding after a couple tries of what works for how I want my colors to come out on my models, the size of my shoe, which I'll get into and all that. But the first pair that came out super dope, I will show you guys a video of, if you follow my TikTok, I'll put it up right now. But basically a pair of Ultra Rules 1.0s I did for my daughter's mom for Mother's Day. It matches my daughter's, one of her birthstones. Uh, so it came out like insanely dope. Like I, I love it. It's what I'm, it, it was it was what got me hooked because I did it correctly, you know, that time. So um, to go from that forum you saw earlier to the Ultra Boost, super jump and improvement. So the next one I did after that, I said, okay, I like the way that the Ultra Boost basically was able to adhere the dye to the mesh. So I wanted to try another mesh shoe. So I jumped to another model. Enter Ultra 4D4. So this one I have not posted on social media yet, but this one is definitely growing on me. It did not come out exactly the way that I wanted it to. But as you can tell, this is my first time doing like an amber, basically like a, a blended effect in terms of the coloring on the shoe. Let's we'll see if you guys a closer look. So yeah, as you can see, I went for a little bit of a, a blended effect with the red, yellow, and blue were the three colors I used on this one. And like I said, I'll have a video. I was really interested to see how the 4D basically outsole was gonna take with the color and it took amazing. Like it took better than any other part of the shoe as you can tell all blue on the bottom so on this one basically what i had to do was dip the bottom of the shoe in blue i dipped it about maybe to like right here in blue and then now the one thing that i learned with this one is i held i held the shoe in there for way too long and there was too much water so that's something that we'll get into with the how-to video for the sambas but i guess a couple key points that you can think of already Make sure your water is super hot when you put the dye in and make sure if you really want the colors to be saturated, dark, like you need smaller water at a higher temperature so that way all the dye can go in there and really like hit the water. So the more water you have with one tube of dye and if the water's not super hot, it's not gonna adhere to the shoe as well. So I think it came out dope, it's grown on me. All of my homies and people that I've shown pictures of, they seem to like it so I have no real complaints. But yeah, uh, you guys let me know what you think. I think they came out pretty good. Like I said, it came out good. This wasn't what I was expecting. I wanted the colors darker. 
But remember, like I said, if you want the colors darker, you wanna make sure that you have less water. So if that means using a smaller container for your water, or if you're using a bigger container, just pour the water lower. So there's the dye has less water for it to like permeate and mix with, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, just give me a couple more looks at these. So that was that. But the main one that I wanted to show y'all today, or two that I wanted to show y'all were my Samba OGs and the Samba Classics, man. I'm in love. I know the Samba, let's just talk about it for a second, having a great moment in pop, in, I don't wanna say pop culture, fashion right now, whether it's streetwear, high fashion, it's, it's a versatile shoe. Obviously one of Adidas classic, one of Adidas's classic models, so. It's doing numbers. I love it. I'm here for it. So I decided, look, man, if I'm buying shoes, I might as well, you know what I'm saying, go out with a bang, try my luck on something that's classic and really just test myself. So obviously, like I said, up to that point, I had done the forums, which y'all saw, the Ultra Boost 1.0s for Mother's Day, and then I did those Ultra 40s that y'all just saw. So I was like, let me just take a stab at it. You know what I'm saying? The shoe's not super expensive. If I mess up, I can try again. But man... I'm telling you, if I was addicted before, this these were the ones that literally took me over the top, bro. So afterwards, man, I was so proud of myself. I was just, it, it just, yeah, man, I, I don't know. If you guys have ever done anything that you took a leap to see how it would come out and it did more than what you expected, this is exactly what this shoe did for me. So this is my first Samba OG. And I am still taking submissions for what you think I should name it, but this is the Samba OG. As of right now, it's just a nighttime pair. My boy Cash made the track. He submitted a suggestion for these to be called the Night Quills, because this one definitely does look like nighttime with a little bit of that day coming in. And like I said, afterward, I'll explain how I did the, the gradient effect with the blue going into the orange when we watch the video together in a minute. But man, super dope pair, man. Super dope pair. I'm so glad these came out this this good, man, this well. So proud of myself. And again, you know, there'll be more shoes coming up. I may mess up. I may learn something new. But for this one, I feel like I hit the nail on the head, man. And then just so you guys can see them side by side, they, they just look beautiful in my opinion, man. And like I said, not to toot my own horn, because even if somebody else so, showed me this shoe, I would be just as crazy about it, like if somebody else did this themselves. And obviously you guys are probably seeing a little bit of the, you know, some of those blemishes that just come through. And that's something else that I'm continuing to learn, different materials, how you're cleaning the shoe before, you know, with the acetone, which we'll get into with the video. Uh, obviously it's, it plays an effect on how it comes out, but for me, I think it works with this particular pair, like the different blends and how you can kind of see, like on the leather near the toe box, it's definitely some orange parts that you can see that didn't necessarily like blend all the way through. Um, you know, even on like the back heel tab around here, like different parts where it almost looks like it's burned in with the orange, so. But yeah, man, you guys let me know what you think of that pair. That's the first one. Second one came out just as good, man. That orange, I don't know what you want to, I felt like calling them sunset and sunrise was just too plain. I was thinking of something like, you know, the these the you up text because it's super late, or these the, I don't know, y'all y'all let me know in the comments what you think, but this is the orange pair, and this is the Samba Classic. So this one, in case you guys are wondering, the Samba OG is like your everyday casual wear. The Samba Classic is actually built for indoor soccer, so the insole that you get has an extra little, basically piece of padding right here for you to have more arch support while you're playing indoor soccer. And the outsole is a lot more rigid than the uh, classic model. Or sorry, the OG model. This is the classic. So um, yeah, just a little history lesson, you know what I'm saying, before we dive in. But this is what this pair looks like. Obviously, this one is more of the orange base, and then I uh, had it with the transition into the blue on the top. So you can tell I also dipped a little bit of the toe box in there. It's the inside. Outside on this one actually was dope because this model, before I dipped it in there, the, the outsole was way more brown. But with the orange dye on there, it just makes it pop a lot more. So it came out super dope in my opinion. So here it is with the other shoe together, just so you guys can check it out. Like I said, man, super happy, super proud of this one. Size-wise for both of them, I went nine and a half, which is my size in Sambas. The one thing I will say, for sure on both pairs, more so the OG, so the blue pair, once you <laughs> finish with it, because it is leather on this model, right? The first two I did were mesh, the Ultra 4D and the Ultra Boost. It's gonna shrink a little bit because it's sitting in hot water, it has to dry, all that good stuff. So just be mindful of that in terms of the sizing with the shoe that you buy. But yeah, man, so I'm gonna see if I can get through this video. It's six minutes long, so y'all just stick with it. I'm gonna try to walk y'all through every single step and then um, we'll go from there, man. But let me just show y'all all the shoes. I don't have the Ultra Boost 1.0 right now. Let me just show y'all all the shoes together. 
Hopefully they don't drop. Let me see if I can get it to stay. There's that YouTube cover photo right there for you. All right, y'all, we're gonna try to get through this. Like I said, my daughter is up in Adam right now, so she's still watching her TV show. I'm gonna try to see how long I can get through this. I may have to pause again. Hopefully I can get all the way through, chop this up, get this out for y'all as soon as possible. But let's get straight to it. So this is gonna be the how-to video. I basically just recorded the whole process, chopped it up. If you see it on my Instagram or my TikTok, it's obviously super sped up to allow for it to only be a minute, but this is gonna be the full six minute it's still chopped up you know what i mean it's not like a full video but it's at regular speed so if you need to pause it you definitely can but let's get it started so all right so the first thing that you definitely want to start with on all the shoes is taking out the laces um taking out the laces is going to allow for the shoe itself to obviously blend and there be no issues obviously when you're dying the shoe also want to take the insoles out same concept so that way when you're dying it it's strictly just shoe um, I'm basically just showing you right here that the insoles are out, what the inside should look like. You know I mean? You should be able to see straight through to the outsole. Um, in terms of the dye that you're using, you definitely want to use RIT Dye More. The Dye More, basically, in a, a short explanation, is for materials like leather, um, the mesh, so like something that's more harsh than like a cotton t-shirt, so stuff that's used for like shoes. Um, Right here, I'm basically just taking um, each bucket. That way in my mind, I'm already setting up. I want the blue to go in the gray bucket. I want the orange in the white bucket. Really important, I will tell you right now, to have your setup already like ready to go in your mind so you're not like scrambling in the process of the dye. Um, this helped me a lot because the first couple times I did it, it was like I was doing this, I was doing this, I didn't have gloves, I was putting this over here. So it was like having this already set up in my mind. I want this here, I want this here. I had all my, my um, my tools and all that stuff ready to go. So that helps a lot. Right now, what you see me doing is I have gloves on and I'm using acetone, basically um, nail polish remover. With the nail polish remover, it's basically removing all the finishes, um, basically like the factory finish. So stuff where there's like glue marks around the shoe. You see them on a couple of mine, um, you know, a couple spots on my shoe and some of my other models as well. But that just helps with that. Um, with that being said right here, if you need it to pause it, you can. Um, basically, I've already poured in the water for that. Just make sure that as much as you can, I know everybody's you know houses don't have a bunch of pots, but just make sure that you fill as much as that, of that bucket with boiling water as you can. Um, right here, I'm pouring in salt, uh, just normal table salt and dish soap. It just basically helps with the dye to adhere to the materials. And right here, you see me pouring in that red dye. You know what I'm saying? So for my particular bucket, I use this side, I don't even know, I can try to find the size. If I do, I'll put it on the screen, but basically it's enough to fit both shoes in there. Now this is a Samba, so it's obviously super small, but like those Ultra 4Ds that I did, I didn't, I wasn't able to fit these in there. I had to use a bigger bucket, which is also why this color came out lighter. But right here, you see me pour both of my dyes in there. You can tell from both buckets, there's heat already rising out of there. They need to be as hot as they can for it to come out the way you want. So I did pour the whole bottle. You see me getting ready to dip the shoes. Now, one thing I will say that I messed up on right here, I should have some damn gloves on. Because that dye, it, it will leave your hands that whatever color dye that is for at least a day or two, which I don't like. So right here, you see me using some tongs. Just uh, The cool thing is they are like stainless steel ones, so they wash off really easily. Um, they're able to clean fast. So I cut a bunch, but I left this shoe in for about eight to 10 minutes. So I knew I wanted it to be dark, but I didn't want it to be like insanely dark blue. And the thing is too, you guys see the color that it is right now when I put it to the screen, it's gonna even come out a little bit lighter. So right now it's actually a little bit lighter than what you see on the screen there. Um, so I did basically take them out of the bucket for a second after those eight to 10 minutes. And then I got it ready to dump in the orange, which I just did. Now for the orange, I left it for about three to five minutes because I want the blend, I want the orange to come through, but I don't want it to be as strong as the blue. So as you guys can see, it's like, it's mainly blue and at the top, it just kind of like, basically like a little, little tease of the orange on top. And obviously I have the laces in terms of my, how I wanted the design to come out to be the main part of the orange. So um, next you see me getting the next shoe ready, which is gonna be the Samba Classic, the indoor uh, soccer model exact same process for this one so dipping the shoe down now these ones stand a little bit taller than the og so you'll see obviously with this one um it's uh it i guess technically didn't fit all the way in the 
the uh, the, t the little tub. But the cool thing was I knew the, the top of my tongue was gonna come out blue anyway, which you see me doing right there, dipping the blue in. Now for the shoelaces, I do the same thing. I dip, I, now I dip the, the top of both laces in the opposite color um, and then did the rest of the shoe in blue. So like for those blue laces right here, I technically dipped the tip in the orange real quick just so it gets a little bit of blend on the laces and then did the rest in blue. Um, last major thing is to wash it out in cold water and you wanna make sure you wash it until you see no dye in the water coming out. It's the main thing, that's how you know that you at least got a lot of that extra like bleeding color coming out of there. Um, and then you just want to make sure that you let it dry. Um, I personally, this time, I live in Houston, so it's humid a lot of the time. We're going right into summer, so sometimes leaving it out to air dry doesn't really work because it's too much liquid in the air. But luckily, the day that I'm that I'm showing you guys this video, of the shoes, these results, it was perfect. It was hot, hot, but not humid, so they were able to dry fast. Um, and I left them basically out most of the day and then at nighttime I brought them in and I left them on my like basically just high high power standing um, uh, fan so just like a you know floor fan so uh, I was able to basically use the, the sun which helps with the color to bring out all the colors as well um, and then using the uh, the floor fan just to kind of like cool them out leave them I didn't want them to get super like sunburnt you know what I mean um, so yeah man like I said I love the way that they came out hopefully this video helps you out if you have any questions Definitely hit me up on any social media, comment below if you need it as well. The cool thing is RIT dye, they actually give you instructions on their website depending on the dye that you're using and what you're trying to dye. So if you're using do dyeing sneakers, if you're dyeing clothes, like they usually give you pretty good um, tips and tricks on what to do, how long to leave it, how much to add. And a lot of people do do like exact amounts, use this tablespoon with this amount of water. I didn't do that, I just basically poured the whole thing in because that's how I want my colors to go my daughter's watching the show sorry about that but i'll vary it by time and how long i leave the shoe dip so that's just how i do it maybe later on i will change you know there are some people who dip their air force ones if they want it kind of like that pastel like easter look you do less dye more water you get the shoe to come out at a lighter tone than say this it'd be like a light light orange which i didn't want i like most of my shoes to come out the color i wanted but this one was perfect like i said if you're doing it like me where you have a smaller bucket suit again remember one of my main points make sure the water's hot if it's not hot it won't it won't adhere to the material the way you want it if you want to do it that way do a bigger bucket hot and just make sure the water's hot pour your dye in there and it'll you know give you a you can kind of vary in. Like, I think that's the dope part about the dye process is just getting into it. Like I was, like I said, I'm addicted now. Like you're learning through trial and error what works, what results you get, different things you can change. And you know what I mean? How you can really get a dope custom pair of shoes. And it doesn't cost a lot. The dyes are five to six bucks, bucks each. The little buckets that I use, I don't even know what, like five or 10 bucks each as well, depending on how big you want them. Obviously boiling your water, if you have a pot or pan, pots, if you don't have one, you can get a stainless steel pot for 30 or 40 bucks from Home Goods or you know what I'm saying, big lot, something like that. So a very easy process, but I understand it. Not everybody's built for it to try it and want to you know, do it to their shoes. Y'all let me know, man. First of all, what did you think of the shoes? For both Sambas, what what would you name them? What would you even name the Ultra 4Ds? For those ones, I had a couple ideas, but y'all let me know. I feel like one of the first ones I had was like summer summertime ice cream truck, something, something that has to do with that. I'm usually pretty good with coming up with names once I sit with something for a while, so maybe I will have a better name soon, but y'all let me know. What would y'all name these? The Ultra 4D forwards. Uh, what would y'all name OGs, the dark blue color? Going from navy blue into that orange, showing the, uh, the laces. Finally, the Samba Classics, going from the orange into that blue on the laces and the upper. Last thing is, I really, like I said, I'm enjoying this process. I, I feel like I've become addicted to it. I already have a lot of homies and people on my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, hitting me up saying they love it. And also, you know, I don't know if they're joking or not, or they just saying it, but you know, saying like, yo, I need to send you my pairs. I think that I would like to open that up for any of you guys that really want a pair, whether it's like Sambas, I know they're kind of hard to come by, but we could figure something out. Do have a couple of Nikes that I'm about to try out too. But if you guys want me to do some dyes for you, even if I need to buy the shoe, you know, you can send me money for the shoe. And then I can also let you know how much the dial cost. It would only be maybe a little bit more than what the retail for the shoe might be. We can get it for retail. If it's something on like StockX or something, that's totally different. But, you know, just helping me out with the labor and, you know, dyeing it for you. But y'all let me know. Like, if you be down for that, I would love to try out more shoes. Like I said, I'm doing a couple more myself so I can get more practice. You guys can see more of the work that I'm producing. But let me know if you guys will be down or open to that. 
I definitely would love to open up the doors for you guys to, you know what I'm saying, reach out to me to get some dope customs. So we'll see how that goes. But you guys let me know if you like the video. Y'all know how I do. I feel like this one is pretty true to it. Y'all know how I do. Never pressure anybody to follow or anything like that. If you came to this episode, this, this video, my channel, and you learned something new, something different, something that inspired you, please give me a subscribe, a like on the video. Follow me on social medias at Jamal Virgo Child. And um, yeah, stay tuned, man. Like I said, I have two, for sure, two models that should be in tomorrow and Friday that'll be ready to die. And then I have like two or three models that I'm gearing up on potentially getting soon. Different brands too. So some Nike, maybe a Solomon, and maybe a, a, a Asics, but we'll see. Otherwise, man, it's getting getting real low down here in the, uh, in the Houston area in terms of the lighting. So I'm gonna dip on out of here before y'all literally cannot see me. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be easy. See you next time. Doosh.